the answer to your question is 4. The answer to your question is 4. The answer to your question is 4. The answer The answer to your question is four. Okay, so what I've done, I've recorded that phrase, which I've then uh, repeated. I could have just looped it, but I just repeated. Um, and um, um, I created a descent effect on bus two. Um, I used a channel EQ to emulate the sound of a phone, uh, the sound of a voice over a phone line. In truth, it's actually in, it's it's the EQ setting, but we would need to dirty it up if you're actually going to do it properly. I went to EQ tools and selected phone filter notch. So it's kind of what Radio 4 thinks of um, as an over the line. If we were actually to do it for a film, we would add a little bit of clip distortion, a little bit of noise, the background shh sounds uh, to really get it going. But for this exercise, that's fine. I also panned that bus. The answer, the answer, answer to your question, your question, question is 4. Yes all the way to the right so there we go um, that's how I did it I did this because I want to demonstrate uh, automation um, using keyframes so what I'm going to do first I'm going to open up the automation window which is this little button here and there we have it and at the moment it was set to read uh, the level currently is uh, 0 dB which is kind of 10 and the, f the keyframe that we're looking at, or the, the, the uh, envelope that we're looking at, is the volume envelope. So if I drag, let me just move this along so you can see the full. There we go. If I, if I can you see that moving up and down? Okay, so when we automate, and I'll do an on the fly automation just to demonstrate. So I'm going to go to right. Okay, and I'm going to do this. The answer. To your question is four. The answer to your question is four. The answer to your question is four. And there we have it. And that's what it kind of looks like when you mix on the fly. I'm going to go back to read here. Uh, let's zoom out a bit so we can see and each one of those dots is a keyframe and each one of those keyframes can be manipulated individually and that's how I like to work uh, because it's look at it you've got all these lovely soft curves um, I use keyframes when I want a sudden impact and I don't want a soft attack I want a fast attack um, 
but usually I mix on the fly mainly because it's I'm used to doing that on a mixer because I'm so old anyway I'm going to highlight all of that and I'm going to get rid of that so highlight delete it's on zero db so I'm going to click on it there it is and I'll use that as a little anchor I'm just double clicking on the um, the envelope itself and then I'm going to drag that up like so a little plateau and then maybe a fade down over there fade up and this is how you mix volume using keyframes on the volume envelope like so and I found that you young kids you like doing it this way because it has a measure of control and you're all for control um, so here we go the answer, answer to your question, to your question, question is, four. is four the answer, answer, answer to your question, to your question is four, is four. So you get the idea and you can soften it I mean I can do an exponential plus fade here so I'm just popping a few keyframes uh, um, onto the envelope I'll take the middle one push that out a little bit and just create a little bit of an, an arc there we are like so and that will soften it and that will give you that sense of human agency that's missing there we are the answer to your question is four most people can't tell the difference uh, so that's how you do it so there's volume I can then if I click on this little button here can you see this little tab um, I can select go to main and select pan absolute there we are and this our pan because it's in the center so I can do the same thing uh, I can pan it this way I can do a quick whip pan down to there I can just play in the middle for a little bit let's have a few ziggy zaggy ones just to demonstrate because it's fun okay a bit down up down Did I mention how I think things that look pretty tend to sound good? The answer, answer, answer to your question, to your question, question is, four. is four. The answer, answer, answer to your question, your question is, four. is four. Okay, and that's basically it. So, through the manipulation of volume and pan, which is sort of what we've we're doing mixing on the fly with um, that's how it works um, I'm gonna highlight all of that and delete it we have it back in the center I'm going to select my volume and I'm going to do the same thing so we have and let's set the volume at 0 dB or close to it there we go so we're back to where we were the answer, answer, answer to your question, your question is, four. is four okay so I don't want what I want is what do I want <laughs> what I want is only the word for to be echoed um, and that echo to have lots of reverberation on it so I'm saying for and then it's echoing in like a vast chamber to to my to my left right <laughs> I forgot where I panned it to there we go so that's what I'm going to do now and I'm going to do it using envelopes so really I'm going to sort of the easiest way to do that I'm going to switch on uh, and off the tape delay that's all so it's either working or it's not and I'm going to do this on the fly I'm going to go to uh, latch and I'm going to start it with off and I'm going to try and time it to switch it on uh, when the word for hits I won't get it exactly right um, but that's where keyframes come in the answer to your question is four. The answer to your question is four. 
The answer to your question is four. Not bad. The answer to your question is four. 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 <laughs> okay, so there we have it. As you can see, switching this thing on and off means it's either on or off rather. The top is muted, the bottom is on, or it's on. Uh, there are no, you can do no fades, it's a switch. So, but what we can do is say, right, that is and that's four by the sound of it. It's four. Yeah. There we go. So let's just move that so it just does four. And in fact, let me just zoom back out again. Let's make sure that it's only muted for the other bit of talking. So I've, so I've kept it going all the way along. So I'm going to carry on doing that. So I'm going to just move that to there and move that all the way to here. Move that to here. emails I should learn to learn not to do so many different loops otherwise these demonstrations are oh, here we are so I've oh no, I haven't quite yet so I've got a couple to go I think yeah there we go and I it's four nearly there. There we go. And I inverted at the end. In fact, I'll have the, I'll keep the is four. So that's muted. So here we go. So let's play it again. See how that sounds. The answer to your question is four. The answer to your question is four. Okay, it all works. Take my word for it. And uh, we don't have to listen to it all the way through. Okay, what else did I say I wanted to do? Ah, I'm going to switch this off now. I'm going to go back to read. Um, I wanted the four, four, four. The echo, which has already been treated. Um, I wanted that to have the reverberation on it rather than the voice itself. So I'm going to create a new send. Bus. Um, in fact, I tell you what, I'll do it on this one. I'll switch it on it. Uh, bus three, I can do it here. Bus three. There we go. Um, reverb. Okay. So I'm not going to actually use it on this. I just used that to create it. So no send. I'm just going to go to my uh, bus two. And there's my bus three. There we go, which has reverb on it. So here we are. Um, I'm going to switch it on. Um, and I'm going to go to Uh, main send one echo absolute there it is uh, it's off at the minute so I'm just going to 
echo to, was it send one echo it shouldn't be send one echo should it should be uh, send to oh where has my oh, maybe I've got a maybe I've actually got to use it so I'm going to do it on the fly first then just to demonstrate it so I'm going to ah yes that's what I had to do I had to go to write now I might actually have Oh, no, I still don't. Okay. And I'm going to record the reverb increase on the fly. The answer to your question is four. The answer to your question is four. The answer to your question is four. Okay. The reason probably, let's go back to uh, read. I'm going to go to my mixer here. The reason probably is I, I've actually forgot to actually put the reverb on to that channel. So I'm going to add the reverb now. So reverb, I rarely use Chrono Verb, so I can give it a try. What have we got? Ooh, since reverb sounds good. Uh, chamber, oh, dirty chamber. Let's have dirty chamber. How can I resist that? Okay, so let's have a little look. The answer to your question is four. 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 There we have it. And there's our, uh, our echo. Um, so display is off, so I can switch on um, main and I should have there we are send one reverb absolute and there it is that's what I did so um, I can undo all of that and I can just there it is let's, uh, let's take it all the way down there we go so I can just fade it up like so as you can see it going up here. The answer to your question is four. The answer to your question is four. The answer to your question is four. There we go. That's how you mix uh, and that's how you change um, plugins and sends using keyframes. Uh, and there it is. Okay. The, when I, when I, um, the reason I have echo here, I didn't explain it very well because it's the pan to the left. That's the first bus I created was because I actually started writing on this track. So as soon as you write something on a, uh, on a bus output, like an echo or reverb, um, it will appear on your timeline for you to alter uh, so that you can use keyframes and stuff like that. The answer to your question is four. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Um, well done. Have a cup of tea.